Okay, everybody, as you can see, the ritual work, the spell is already, uh, has, con has came to a conclusion. And, uh, this, and that was that a part one that you saw in my earlier, uh, earlier video. So the, so the spell is, uh, halfway through. All the candles are burnt out. All the bananas have, uh, begun to rot. They, they're rotting pretty good, smelling really nice, believe it or not. The offering was accepted. And the second part to this will we will be wrapping them in brown paper bags and uh one of them we will wrap uh with a petition on it and tie a white string around that one and then we'll take it to the palm tree but i uh, just want to show you guys that it's been about five days and all three candles have burnt out the bananas have uh rotten and uh this is the I get excited about this because I know I, I I love when I do work like this, and I know this is uh this this spell is a is a great spell to protect you. Again, it's a protection spell, uh, to vanquish your enemies, to to do anything to help anything and everybody. I mean, to help you with anything and every one that is giving you trouble. This spell right here is is where it's at. Shango, San Barbara, whichever tongue you speak, this is what. This is what this spell is made for, strictly for them. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the next scene where I'm I'm prepping it. I'm prepping the uh, I'm prepping the the bananas with the petition and the brown paper bags. So hold on. Hello everybody. My name is Baron Samadhi the Alchemist, and welcome to my channel. So now today we're gonna be doing a continuation of the protection, the vanquish the enemy spell that we started. Uh, five to seven days ago, I told you guys from my earlier video, I will put the secondary up here once everything has been consecrated. Uh, once all the materials have been consecrated and prayed on the altar. As you know, everything about me, I believe in consecrating every single thing we do. If it's not consecrated, I don't think none of these spells or ritual work or whatever we do will work because you got to give thanks and prayer to the entity that we are calling upon to assist us, whether it be Jesus Christ whether it be uh, one of the Orishas, whether it be Kabbalistic, whether it be anything you, you want, you have to give praise and thanks to that and homage to that particular entity. And for this spell right here, we gave praise and thanks and we asked for the divine protection and blessing of the one known as Shango in some cultures, St. Barbara. Uh, and... I love this spell right here. It's a beautiful spell. Everything looks beautiful. It's a beautiful spell. And it's a spell that lets you know things are going to get done. So without further ado, let me get to uh, this right here. So as you noticed earlier, we had the, and I'm going to explain each one of these things as a spell for somebody that just may view this one right here. And I encourage you to go back and look for the, look at the original one, the first video. Keep in mind, this is part two. To this and believe it or not once we get done uh, wrapping everything up right here you guys are going to take a drive with me and we're going to go to an actual palm tree and i'm going to sit you i'm going to teach you guys how to sit it under a palm tree and the steps you need to take for that but again without further ado here we go i'm going to explain each one so here's the egg that was dipped in palm oil that was set on the altar as well to consecrate now what this egg represented while it was consecrating this egg represented the fact that this egg represented you so all the negative energy, energy and vibes and hatred and all the enemies when they were sending out their dark forces looking for you, they was looking for you and it came in the representation of this egg because you you basically made this egg you and this egg sat on the altar of Shango, St. Barbara to as a as a stand in for you. So there was a lot of times you, you know, a lot of things that could happen. People could have said and did things. This egg absorbed it. So remember the egg. For when we go to the palm tree, it's very important. So I'm gonna set this down right here. And we're gonna get to doing what we gotta do. So now, now with this spell, you have to wrap the bananas that the rotten bananas in a brown paper bag. I've taken the liberty and wrapping two so far. I wrapped two up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna with you, I'm gonna with you to show you how they need to be wrapped and the steps you need to take. I'm gonna wrap two for you on camera. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna get your brown paper bag. 
get your brown paper bag, cut it in half, or get you a brown piece of paper. It has to be brown. Cannot stress this enough. It has to be brown, and it has to be a paper bag. No white, no, no substitute. Brown paper bag. Go to your dollar store and get them. Go to your local neighborhood Walmart or so and get them. So what we'll do, we're going to take the rotten banana that's wrapped inside here. We're going to place it inside the brown paper bag. We're just going to take our time and we're going to roll it together. We're going to roll it up. We're going to close the ends off. And we're going to take a red ribbon and we're going to tie the ends. As I told you again, this is a beautiful spell. If done correctly, this is beautiful. And you're gonna tie both ends. I just make a cut with the scissors. This one right here in this bowl so now we have another one and we do the same for this one again take the banana put it in here and we wrap it up This is a really good smell. I just like the way it looks. I take my time with it because it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful smell. And this smell deals with a lot of faith and your burning desire for things to go correct with you. So now, we place all the wrapped up bananas inside here. Again, remember the egg. This egg is very important. So we place the egg back in here. So now I'm gonna spin this. This is how, this is how your spell should end up. You see you have the white bowl with the red border. You have the white egg dipped in palm oil. That's the representation of you. You have the four bananas as the offering to St. Barbara, AKA Shango. You have them all wrapped in red ribbon. I mean, I love looking at this. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful spell. Magic is a beautiful thing. Once you understand the principles of it, the mechanics, it's a beautiful thing. So this is how it's supposed to look. Now, there's one more step before we can take this to the palm tree, to which I'm gonna sit up here and I'm gonna sit this aside right here. I'm gonna sit this to the side. And we have one more step to do with one more of the bananas. So now what we need to do is write a petition. I like to write a petition down to state, you know, what I want St. Barbara to do. I know we prayed over it. We prayed Psalms 140 for a time, for every day, twice a day, three times a day. Until the, until the, the, the ritual was complete, the first part of the ritual was complete. But right now, I would like to tell you guys, I'm using Dove's blood because all petitions, I believe, on a good note, Positive note need to be written in dove's blood. Remember that dragon's blood, bat's blood, these are all, they go around the, the darker spells, as you as you would say. So right now, I'm gonna write a petition on here in dove's blood. Now again, a friend of mine, he came earlier and he wrote his petition. So the one I did for him is wrapped up sitting over there on my, on my resting table. And he wrote his petition, I wrapped it up, 
and it's beautiful. So I, I'm doing an actual one for myself right now so that I can show you guys directly because he wanted to be kept off camera, which I can respect. He's a predominant businessman. So just write down something potential. I like to use a red feather dipped in dove's blood because I hate writing in pencil when I'm doing ritual work. If it has anything to do with contacting the, the spirits, the angels, the saints, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to write down about a couple sentences, nothing heavy, of all what I want them to do for me. And you can write down whatever you want, but it has to be written on a brown paper bag in Dove's blood. And, that, and once you see the end result, you're going to be like, wow, that's beautiful. So I'm going to write uh, something. It's going to be a little personal. So right now what I'm doing with this petition is I'm writing down the, the, th the few things that mean the most to me that I want the I want Shango to protect me from, which is, and, I'm, and it's a little personal because I'm writing this now, but just know this is what you should do. You should, be, the, before we take this to a palm tree, you need to write down on a petition in some dove's blood with the feather, red feather, white feather, don't matter, just a feather what you want them to do for you. This is your final prayer to them because once you place this at the foot of that tree, you're going to walk away knowing that what you ask for is handled. Knowing that they're taking care of your enemies, knowing that they're going to provide protection, divine protection for you. So I'm writing down a couple things. So it's just a quick petition we like to write, that you should write. And with this petition, you're going to fold this petition towards you. Or if you find a small enough page back, you don't have to. But before we do that, I, I jump the gun because I'm, I get excited. We're going to have to anoint. We're going to have to anoint this petition with oil. Sorry about that. I just got a little excited. We're going to have to anoint this petition with a little oil. The oil that I'm using is St. Barbara oil because we this is the deity we want to help us. So just anoint the four corners of your petition. One, two, three, four. You anoint it with St. Barbara oil. Then you're gonna, I like to anoint it with steady work because this is for a business. This is uh, for my client, this is for business. So I like to do steady work because I want them to keep working on this no matter what. Even after the offering has been accepted, eaten, and, and everything, I want them to continuously work for me. So we got steady work. And no ritual work is complete without this right here. I like to call it bend over. Uh, again, bend over. That's that That's that boom to get the Arishas, Saints, whoever to do exactly as you say. One. Now we take our petition and we're going to fold the petition to us just once because you're going to need the length of it to go to wrap around one of the bananas. So now we're going to take one of the bananas again and we're going to take the petition and we're going to wrap our petition around one of the bananas. One of the rotten bananas. This is the magic banana. This is the one to which they're going to eat. This is the most rotted banana. So pay attention to those. And then we're just going to take a white string. And we're just going to wrap the petition around it. I love doing things in three. So you got one. Two. And 
three. So now this is your finished result. You have your four bananas that's rotten, that's been consecrated on the altar with your white bowl, red border. You have your egg dipped in palm oil. You have your four bananas. This is very important. Then you have your, you've written your petition in dove's blood. You've written your petition in dove's blood. You have consecrated the petition with uh, the type of oils you want. The oil, St. Barbara, either Shango, depending on where you're talking from. I use St. Barbara and Shango. I use both, believe it or not. Uh, job oil for steady work to keep the spell working in, within, and without. And bend over to uh, get them to do what you want them to do. And this is the spell. So next time we become, we get on camera, you'll see me at an actual palm tree. And I'll be dropping this at the foot of the palm tree and continuous in the ritual spell. Now remember, this spell right here has everything to do with Psalms 140. And if you read Psalms 140, Every day while this is consecrated, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Psalms 140 is a great spell for protection against any and everything uh, known and unknown, any enemies known and unknown. And, it's, and it tells the Arisha or the saints in the spirit world to vanquish your enemy. So this is how it should look in the end. It's a beautiful spell. I love the way it looked. It's beautiful. Only thing we did, we used four bananas. We allowed them to sit on the altar and rot. We took one white egg, dipped it in palm oil, which all the bananas was rubbed in palm oil. And we allowed that, that egg to sit on top of these bananas as it consecrated as a stand-in for you. So it can absorb all the negativity while, you, while this spell is consecrating. And uh, so, again, next time you see me, I'll be standing in front of a palm tree, and we'll continue to the spell there. Hope to see you guys in a few. Okay, everyone. Now, this is the part, this is the part of the spell where you come bring it to the palm tree and you place your offering to St. Barbara, a.k.a. Chango, on the palm tree. And the reason why you would like to take all your offerings to Chango and St. Barbara and place it on the palm tree because the palm tree is, is, is what Chango likes. It's, uh, it's a royal palm to be exact. And here in Florida, we have a lot of them. Here in Orlando, Florida, there's a lot of royal palm trees to be exact. So right now, I'm going to give you a, a far out angle of how it is placed under the uh, under the palm tree. And I'll tell you what the apple for and the six pennies I place next to it as well. But now, we'll start by... I'll get out of the way so you can feel a little bit. This is it right here. This is how it's going to look when it's complete. You see the egg, you see the four bananas, and the, and the one wrapped with the partition. So then you would read from Psalms 140 of the King James Bible. And it, uh, as I read it, you'll hear what I'm saying. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their hearts. Particularly are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent's adders, poisoned it under their lips a lot. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man, imagine who have proposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hit a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set you for me, Shabbat. I say unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the days of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not with the desires of the Lest they exalt themselves to mock. As for those, as for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into the deepest pit that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks uh, unto thy name, the upright shall the will in his presence. Now it's very important that you read that particular scripture after you place this at the foot of the tree because you want the Orisha, Shango, San Barbara to know exactly what your petition are. You want them to know that this is coming from you, that you want them to know what's going on. So now, after you read that, you would take, after you read Psalms 140, after you take that, you drop six pennies as an offering for him. 
After you're done with that, you would take the egg that represented you during the consecration of the spell, and you take it and you throw it against the tree as hard as you can. The egg has been dipped in palm oil, and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bust it across the tree as hard as I can, symbolizing that I need him to do this, and everything that was attacking me while this spell was consecrated, it's going to, he's gonna know exactly what it is that was attacking. So, without further ado, here we go. Now, you just walk away. The reason I brought this apple is because all kings love apples, Shango loves apples. So, just as a take for it, just to show that my appreciation, that I really respect, that I care, and I really need what he, what he's gonna provide, the protection, the, the banking shit on my enemies, I just take an apple and throw it over my left shoulder, look it up, to symbolize of throwing food over your left shoulder to feed the spirits is a, is a great thing, but, Got an apple, this is just an additional treat. You don't have to do it. I just do it because I really do appreciate my Reese's and I love them and I thank them for all they do for me. Especially Shango for cutting the cords and destroying my enemies and making my way better. Getting rid of all the obstacles, burning away all the superfluous stuff that represents me, the, the veneer that doesn't really, that's not really who I am or all of the shadow people around me that wish to do me harm. I just thank them for it. So I'm gonna toss this over my shoulder and I'm done with the spell. I walk away knowing that he's gonna take care of it. That's it, and you're done. Very simple, very simple spell, pretty tedious for some, but very simple and effective. Here we go. That's it. Okay, everyone. What you just witnessed was the completion of the uh, of the spell, which uh, the spell to Shango, aka San Barbara. Uh, you just witnessed the completion, uh, I should say experience, the completion of that particular spell. As I said, when I was at the tree reading the spell, when I was placing the, the offering to uh, Shango, a.k.a. St. Barbara, this spell is a very tedious spell, but it's well worth it. And you shouldn't partake any spell unless you understand the true premise of consecrating your spell, I mean, allowing that spell time to marinate. Spell work is not about rush, 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 because anything that has to be done has to be done right in my book. So again, what you've seen right now was the conclusion of the the spell to, to the Arisha Shango or to the Saint, Saint Barbara as to protect you uh, and your family, your livelihood, your finances, to vanquish your enemies, unseen and unseen. And I repeat that, to vanquish your enemy, seen and unseen. But before I close out, I wanna tell you a quick little dream I had while I was doing this particular spell. So it was on the second night that the candle was lit. Uh, it was on the second night that I placed it on the altar and the candle was lit. So I, I went to sleep and uh, I'm having a nice little dream, you know, nice little dream that I'm watching television in my living room. So after a little bit of time, the dream kind of got a little catawampus. It got crazy. So now there's this lady or this figure wearing a long, like a nightgown, somewhat what your grandma would wear. It was white with little bitty white flowers on it. And she comes to me and I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on the left side of the couch watching TV to which the, the majority of the couch was still vacant. It was a, a little bit of long, uh, it was a love seat. So she, so the lady walks out of the kitchen and she hands me a bowl, uh, a white bowl with a red border around it, somewhat like we used in this ritual spell work. And it, it was like I knew the lady, but I didn't. So I dip, I, the first thing I do, I dip my hand and I take a big, I dip my hand in the bowl to take a big, big helping or whatever it is she brought me. I thought it was like ice cream. I don't know why I had ice cream on my mind. So as I, I, as I dip my hand in there, I grab and I squeeze, and when I pull up, I pull up rotten bananas. Go figure, right? So I pull up rotten bananas, then it's all over my hand, and I'm like, I'm like, what's this, this? And the entity, the person in the dream, whoever, which I now see, I look at the, uh, I look at the candles, the Shango candles, the St. Barbara candles. I see, the, I see the actual image of that person that was in my dream. I see that. So 
that per, uh, the entity starts laughing and as he or she, whichever one, I don't know how to call them, uh, as there was eating the bananas out of the bowl laughing and they sit on the edge of the couch and they prop back and they put their feet close to mine. I mean, close to my thigh as I'm sitting down right here. They put their feet right here and they just having a ball laughing and eating the bananas. Ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So now I'm enjoying the laugh with them. And I said, hey, I'm going to get something to wipe this off. I'm not eating no raw bananas. And it basically tickled the hell out of the person or the, the, the person in my dream. So I get up and I wake up. And when I wake up, I look at the clock, it's 329 in the morning. And I say, whoa. And then I said, I think, I said, I think St. Barbara, aka Shango, has accepted the offering. And it made me feel so good. And I'm like, mmm. You know, I'm, I'm jumping. I'm got up. I went and got a glass of water. And I went in, I went into my uh I went in here where my altar is, and I just did a quick prayer. And I thank them for understanding and 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 allowing and consecrating this and, and accepting what I did because I, I really put a lot of intent for it when I do something for friends, family, or clients. I really do put my all into it. And having that dream showed me that they accepted it. And every time I do a spell, I normally would have a dream with it, believe it or not. It's a dream that let me know that the spell went right or the spell went wrong or did I leave something out that I have to add. And this time, the, 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 dream, was, the dream was pleasant and... I just wanted to share that guy. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, it was on my heart. I just wanted to share it with you. And that was just a beautiful thing concerning this particular spell. So, again, what you seen earlier in the clip of the video, when I take it to the palm tree, I set the bowl up under the palm tree with the, uh, with the bananas in the partition. Uh, I but You saw me bust an egg against the tree. That, rep that egg was representation of me while the spell was consecrating to all the negative attacks that was coming at me was going into that egg and I was being protected thus far. So when I bust that egg against that tree, it allowed Shango and Barbara to know exactly who it was that was bothering me and what they need to start attacking and protecting me from. Then I like laid six pennies down. You always leave six pennies at an uh, offering for Shango. And I then I just happened to throw a treat over my shoulder, which was a, the red apple to give him a treat because Apples in the spirit land taste like dirt, and they love they love earth apples. So, and apples are royalty, just like bananas. So I did that, and and it was great. And I I walk away. I know my enemies are taken care of. I I got a phone call stating that I kid you not, no more than when I got in my car and drove away from the palm tree. I got a phone call stating that somebody that had did something that had wronged me very well, end up losing something that was valuable to them. And they just don't know how it happened because they had they, they thought they had their thing on lock, but that thing just went away from them and 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 well it was his job so the guy lost his job and that was just crazy after he caused me to lose uh, a contract for my personal business and he lost his particular contract so I didn't wish hate on the person I just wanted to be protected and have my enemies vanquished if they were still coming at me or saying negative stuff and it worked. So this is the type of spell that you don't carry, that you don't parry likely. When you do something like this, you really got to know what you're doing. And anybody can do it, but you got to be consecrated on that altar. And if you need me to do it for you, you can always email me at, at, Baron, at askbaronsamadi.alchemy at gmail.com. I'm more than available to do it for you. I'll, I'll send you a private recording of me doing it for you and I can I mean it'll get done so without further ado I would like to thank you for tuning into this channel if you like what you see hit the like button if you enjoy what you're seeing you're getting a little education from it subscribe and if you feel this can help someone in their daily life I'm Baron Samadhi, the alchemist, and I would like to say, trust the you and universe, because at the end of the day, you are all you have. Thank you, and God bless.